The following stream has been approved for all puzzle audiences by the Puzzle General Community. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Cards of the Heart, and welcome back to Puzzle General's Tetris Attack Speedrun Tournament 2021. Uh, we're going to start the uh, live action off for you uh, today with... Uh, some Group B action between our overall number two seed, Foxy Man 52, and our overall number 15 seed, Karaoke. And to uh, help me cover this one, it's going to be everyone's favorite person named after this game. It is Tetris Attacker. Hey, Cards. Uh, yeah, Tetris Attacker, you can call me TA, and I'm here for some more puzzle fun. This is going to be hype. Uh, for those joining us on the live stream uh, and have been with us, let's keep on going. For those joining us on YouTube, welcome and uh, check out our whole our whole uh, tournament here. And uh, please binge along with us and uh, enjoy. Oh, oh yes, uh, yes. Yeah, so if you're tuning in on YouTube, we've got to, we're going to have plenty of content to bring you in the coming weeks. So uh, you'll not want to miss that, and you'll not want to miss this match coming up coming up right here with uh, involving one of our favorites to win the whole thing. It is definitely a thing to watch. You will not want to uh, miss this. But first, if you're just tuning in to uh, this for the first time and you're not exactly sure how the game works, uh, believe me, you're not a work alone. Don't worry. I'm going to try to uh, explain as uh, simply as I can how this game works and how we are playing it in this tournament. Tetris Attack is a match 3 puzzle game released for the Super Nintendo in August 1996 for North America and November 1996 for Europe. It was also broadcast on the Japanese Teleview service from November 1996 until the service was discontinued in June 2000. As a match 3 puzzle game, if you match at least 3 of the same panel either horizontally or vertically, the panels will disappear. To win, however, you will need to do more than simply match 3 at a time. You need to make combos and chains to not only prevent your gradually rising stack from reaching the top of your playfield for a time, but also send garbage to your opponent to make their stack reach the top of their playfield. You make combos by matching more than three panels in a row at the same time. They don't keep your stack from rising for very long, but they do send small garbage blocks to your opponent that can quickly add up if stacked correctly. You make chains by linking sets of three or more matches together. Make a set of panels disappear and then have the panels directly above them fall into another match. Not only does this keep your stack from rising for a longer period of time, but it will also make thicker garbage blocks that will be more effective at actually filling out your opponent's stack to the top. If your stack reaches the top of your playfield and the game tries to break the stack through the top, you lose, so you want to avoid this at all costs and force it on your opponent as much as possible. To beat these computer opponents, you'll have to either make sure that they run out of time while their stack is completely topped off, send so much garbage to your opponent so that they can no longer make a move, or send garbage to your opponent in such a way so that they think they can no longer make a move. That said, due to the way this game handles combo garbage as well as the overall speed of these opponents, you will almost exclusively see our players make them run out of time through timely garbage attacks. Easy mode has 10 stages, normal mode has 11 stages, and hard and v-hard, as we call it, have 12. In this tournament, players will be racing through those stages to get to the end as fast as they can. The first player to defeat the final opponent wins the race. The first player to win a predetermined number of races wins the match. Best of luck to all of our players. So we are speedrunning against the uh, computers in this tournament. The, the one player versus mode. This is this is not going to be a two player versus for variety. There are other players, places to uh, 
watch watch those things. And uh, one of our uh, competitors in this match is uh, definitely well versed in that that uh, area of uh, this game. But uh, we can talk about that in a little bit. Our 17 players that started this tournament uh, were divided into four round robin groups, and uh, over the past several weeks have been uh, fighting against each other one by one till uh, they uh, face everyone in their group in best of five speedrun races. So uh, the first to win three races in these matches will be the winner. And uh, the matches are being played on all of the uh, game levels against computers. That's easy, normal, hard, and V-hard. The players uh, pick first level to choose from from those four options, and then the loser of the race will pick the next level until we have either played all of the different levels or until we have a winner. And we do get to a game five, then game four's race loser will be able to pick any level on the list to choose from. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, in a couple of weeks, we will have uh, all of all of the uh, matches done, and at that point, we will be able to decide the top two players from each group advancing into the final bracket. And uh, Group B, admittedly, is still very open. We've only had uh, two of the six matches played so far, and we're playing two of them today, so uh, we should be uh, a bit, we should have a bit clearer picture on how this this group is going to go after today's action, TA. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, a lot of the groups are starting to uh, to get a, a good a good feel for how they're going to turn out. This one at the moment, still wide open, but as you said, uh, we've got two matches in this group uh, that are really going to add some clarity uh, to how this, this group might uh, finish out or at very least, you know, line up those last couple matches and, and put the expectations there. Um, but as it stands right now, I mean, there's, uh, you know, we're kind of going in with what we, uh, with what we knew from, from the beginning that the Foxy man was going to be a favorite, uh, to come out of this group. He's a favorite to win the whole thing. Uh, number two seed for a reason. Um, so we're, we're kind of knowing that that's, probably going to hold true through the rest of his matches in this group uh it's it's become uh our expectation at least that it'll be a fight for for that second advancing spot uh and anyone who wants that spot is going to need a win anywhere they can get it and if they can snipe one off of foxy and make it extra interesting that'll be that'll be really really a, a fun go and so let's uh let's see if we can get some of that here well, let's not count out our overall 7 seed BB Forky just yet, because uh, in terms of sniping games off of Foxy Man, it was Galloping Conch that did manage to snipe one one easy mode game off of Foxy Man. So uh, technically, Forky has the lead in this group at the very, very moment. And uh, later in this broadcast, we will be seeing Foxy Man take on Forky. So. Uh, <laughs> We're, so uh, we're, we're, we should be in for a real treat then to uh, figure out how this group is going to turn out. But that is later. We've got a match that has to some, look at Yeah, that here. has some potential to turn this on its head. That's for sure. Oh, yes. Very much so. But uh, we've got uh, a match coming up up here with uh, Foxy Man against uh, a real veteran of the speedrunning scene in karaoke. But uh, she hasn't really... Uh, she, she's a she's kind of new to these tournament tournaments and uh, and uh, has a uh, has some ways to go to uh, really get to uh, the top echelon of uh, this this game. But uh, really, really, uh, we're we're just here to have fun and uh, think think karaoke really exemplifies how uh, how at the end of the day we are just here. To, to have fun uh, even even if uh, she hasn't always performed the best uh, she's always shown enthusiasm for these tournaments and uh, we do uh, we do uh, thank her for 
for participation in these tournaments, but let's let's not uh, let's not bounce bread about about this. Uh, Foxy Man is a heavy favorite to win this match 3-0, and uh, it's kind of hard to uh, expect anything different to you. Yeah, uh, karaoke at times will will be consistent enough to be close. We've seen some really, really crazy, especially Bowser levels, but anywhere in the back end of the cave. Um, I mean, we, we've recently seen three and a half plus minute uh, Bowsers uh, and and something like that can happen at any point in these games, especially on that V-Hard mode where it's uh, the most variable as possible. Uh, so that's why you play the matches. Uh, this this appears to be uh, a very overmatched situation, but karaoke uh, is going to be here and and have fun. Foxy's going to be here and have fun, and uh, we'll, we'll see where that that RNG bounces because it's it's always got a chance. It's never zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th this game is certainly cruel enough at points to. Uh always make it a, a non-zero chance for anything to happen. So, uh, let's, let's, uh, stop talking, but uh, now, let's get into this matchup. Foxy Man 52 and Karaoke. Alright, and, uh, our two players have uh, decided to start this level on this this uh, match on the easy difficulty, so so well, we're gonna we're gonna ease into uh, this one a bit. Easy mode is less about the the trolling that the uh, the RNG gives you, and more about topping out uh, your your opponent's screen as quickly as you can. Uh, it's at a lower game speed. Um, but that doesn't mean we're trying to do it any less quickly. Uh, so let's uh, let's get going as soon as these runners are ready. Yes, this match is being played live. Both both players are uh, are uh, streaming their gameplay to uh, a separate server from their normal Twitch channels. But make sure you follow them on Twitch for all the good speedrunning content and other great content that they will provide and uh, we will uh, we will have uh, this uh, match going underway pretty soon all right looks like we got about a three second uh, offset between these two players we will uh, fix that before the next race but uh, let's see uh, let's see foxy man uh, go to work here, at least. Uh, going big with the X6 chain. Yeah, and uh, watching Foxy Man's screen is is going to be something of a clinic here today. Uh, he may not be completely warmed up. Uh, we'll see. Uh, well, never mind. His first stage is very much shown that it seems like he's good to go. Uh, but he's uh, he's a technician of this game. He may be new to the uh, the speedrun tournament, but as as we mentioned before, he is not new to this game. Uh, he is a big member uh, and a big player in the uh, the uh, the PvP scene, player versus player. Uh, so he he knows this game inside and out, and uh, proved in his first foray into the uh, speedrun tournaments last year at the PPL tournament that he's he's got the skills and he's definitely uh, someone to uh, to keep an eye on. And if you're if you're a newer runner and you're wanting to to learn. This is actually a great opportunity, I think, to see a couple runners at a different, a little bit different uh, skill level than each other, both putting in the effort uh, and and playing the game uh, at, uh, using similar techniques or maybe uh, uh, maybe a little bit different speeds of the same same ideas to try and get this uh, uh, get this done here. And it's a, it's a great way, I think, to to learn. I think a lot of people have picked up this game watching other people play it, and this is a this is a great spot to to see it done by by a couple of great players. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, there there we go. There we go. Good good stuff, Carrie. Get, getting a, a nice nice good stage in there. 22 seconds. You you definitely can't Solid. can't knock that. 
So uh, she's she's uh, turning in turning in something respectable o already. She already has one good thing to take away from this match, but uh, oh yeah yeah I think uh, I think Foxy is uh, is uh, gonna gonna be able to uh, to uh, assert his uh, dominance a bit more in in this one. Karaoke though, not too bad. Another, another, uh, another 21 second per performance of the way. She, she's showing that uh, she can, she can uh, keep up early on. We'll just have to see how uh, the end play plays out for uh, both of our competitors. Uh, yep, and that and that froggy stage there for Foxy uh, seemed to do most everything right, but small hiccup and like low game speed, Nick can just idle there for a while, waiting for the uh, the opponent to finally give in, even though they've been topped off. Yeah, yeah, easy mode. Easy mode has uh, shown itself to be all about avoiding garbage clears and, and uh, trying to uh, time these attacks properly so that you don't uh, send the, the garbage at the wrong time has proven to be difficult but you know what you know what uh, Foxy is uh, showing showing that uh, he is capable of it with a 15 second blurg right there karaoke's karaoke really not uh, terrible ways back just just uh, still getting just uh, getting through uh, Froggy now. Def definitely a respectable showing to be had here. And is that a horizontal six combo from Foxy Man? Just, that, that's kind of that's that's kind of a uh, that's kind of fancy to sh to uh, show show that off. <laughs> Nice. Five from Karaoke. There we go. Froggy's been topped off there for a while. Was wondering how long he was going to hold on. <clears throat> Alright, what have we got from Foxy Man here? Uh... Foxy's not not really getting the, the the setups that I think he wants. It looks like he's trying to go for, for one setup and kind of having to, to readjust on the fly. He's He's definitely quick enough to do it, um, but it's it, things aren't quite sitting the way he wants them to. I think right now on his opens. That said, he's still still entering the cave here at, at around five minutes. Definitely the definitely the uh, pace at uh, worst you you want to see from uh, easy mode. But uh, but yeah, Fo Foxy Man's been locked into uh, getting certain. Certain uh, chains to certain combos to start these chains, and uh, they haven't been uh, coming with 100% uh, efficiency. But uh, but uh, it is getting the job done here so far with another sub 20 second performance. Meanwhile, karaoke just one line short of filling out that screen. But gets the follow. Mm, Solid nice. 26 on Lunchfish. Nicely done. Very, very nice. I, I think, I think, I think there's a movement to uh, start calling those the uh, instead of the crush kills, the uh, conch kills after <laughs> after a player in galloping conch who's a bit enthusiastic about uh, tracking those. <laughs> he gets so many of them. I don't know what exactly it is about his style that that encourages that to be his most consistent way of killing, but he gets more crush kills than I think anyone I know. Oh, all right. All right. Foxy Man, finally done. There we go. Fin time. We say finally. <laughs> but what's this final time here? I mean, it's it's not it's not too bad. Just uh, just a six twenty six. Nothing, yeah. nothing too outrageous. But uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is more or less what we expected from from Foxy Man. No, this is not this is not a surprise. Uh, Foxy 
also one of the favorites to win it all and uh, definitely uh, showing it early on. Yeah, Foxy with a casual sub 30. Uh... You know, he he's got he's got the speed to definitely go quite a bit faster at times, uh, especially when he's when he's locked in. He he tends to mix in a lot more combos in the middle of his chains than he was doing here. Uh, so I wonder if that's a little bit of you know just getting warmed up for the day, or or if that's uh, you know not being as used to easy mode perhaps. His, uh, his time spent practicing may have been spent elsewhere. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. All right. All right. Carrie getting the job done for Hook Bill in 34 seconds. There we go. Let's try it. Let's see if we can uh, close this, this run out strong. I forget what her... What her uh, best is for uh, what she did for uh, the tur tournament. Okay, her best is her best is a 7:30. So uh, yeah. this isn't this isn't quite within within, within her standards, but uh, this is still uh, still looking solid. Putting in a solid ra uh, race, especially in a no reset format. Sometimes you just uh, you just got to muscle through, and definitely. Definitely putting it up uh, in a in a good way here. And there we go. Oh, got good. the little bit long on Piranha, but got the job done. There we go. That uh, will officially uh, put her in at uh, eight minutes fifty one seconds. As uh, she had a little trouble with the uh, done b button. <laughs> oh well. Oh oh well. Uh, I think we've all had that spot at some point. <laughs> Oh, yeah, tell me about it. Well, in any case, that's going to be enough for uh, Foxy Man to uh, get star number one. So Foxy Man off to uh, the early lead here. I will uh, ask Karaoke what level she is interested in doing next. And it looks like... Looks like, uh... We are about to go... Hard. We are headed to hard mode. Let's go. I think we, we we've talked about uh, in this tournament, uh, you know, making sure that you hit the uh, the combo a combination of buttons there to go into uh, V hard. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of times when I think hard is 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 harder because you're so used to hitting the combo. You just want to hit just start. Don't don't touch the L button. <laughs> uh, oh man. Yeah. Well, uh, in, in in any case, uh, in any case, I think I I feel like I feel like if I were carry, I would want to avoid V hard as as uh, much as possible. As of how much longer it would take, at least, uh, at least sticking to these lower levels would uh, get the uh, races out of the way earlier. That, that's probably just that's probably just me reading too much into the situation and taking this tournament super super seriously more than anyone should. Yeah, we'll see. I think there's there's a lot of different. Uh... A lot of different strategies that can go into this and a lot of different motivations you know with how warmed up you feel you are if you feel like your 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 cursor speed just isn't there on a given day or or your board vision might not be there uh you know picking picking what you you some people just kind of pick whatever they're feeling that day I, I i'm not i'm not sure everyone's got a little bit different uh a little bit different pick
Oh, Foxy Man started on. Oh, Foxy Man started on the wrong level. Yeah. Whoops. He accidentally went over to normal mode. <laughs> uh, well, well, Foxy's not uh, not uh, requesting a a redo. I would totally, I would totally give him a a, a restart in this instance, but uh, I don't think I don't. Think I think he's just. I think he's. Much. Yeah, I think he's just gonna roll with it. He noticed it right away. He didn't get too far in. He uh, he got uh, a little bit of a trolley lack of two on Carrie's side, and they're pretty much tied up. <laughs> yeah, so much so much for me actually uh, getting these uh, streams synced. We're still about a four second to offset between the two. And that's how far ahead into the future uh, Foxy Man I believe is, but. Uh, no wonder he's so fast at this game. He lives four <laughs> seconds in the future. Ah, <laughs> uh, what, what, man, what, what a, what a power to have. Oh, and that, that power is letting, letting him get to 15 second stages like they're nothing. So, uh, there's, there must be something to that. <laughs> all right. All right, Kiri able to, uh, finish off that, uh, Bumpty strong, at least. <clears throat> Foxy man Foxy's still, chaining uh, quite a bit, but not a lot of combos. Eh, didn't seem to matter. Poochie, Poochie went down anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, I, I don't know why it feels like the beginning of hard mode feels feels uh, easier to uh, optimize than the uh, beginning of. Uh, Easy mode, maybe even the beginning of normal mode. Like this, this feels, this uh, it, it feels like we're, we're seeing a bunch of people get put together a string of 15 second stages on on hard mode compared to uh, all all the others. And I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, hard mode, especially the first half of hard mode, kind of plays a little bit uniquely. You'd think it would just be. Uh... You know, V hard, but more pink. But it, it's it kind of has its own its own AI uh, behaviors, and I, I don't know what it is, but they just slam themselves up against the top of the the stack when they've got uh, garbage on them sometimes, and we'll absolutely take advantage of that whenever we can as speedrunners. But it's uh, it's a little bit of a unique open. But by the time you get towards the back end of uh, of hard mode, it starts to play more like the beginning few stages of V hard. Um, so it, it's, it's a little bit of a unique category. I think, uh, oddly enough, normal and V hard play more like each other than hard plays like them. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice 28 second stage from karaoke there. And then as you, uh, expertly pointed out, uh, Foxy man's not, uh, getting, getting all of the, uh, combos he wants in his chains that last stage also that last stage went to the next six and I feel like uh, I feel like this uh, blarg was gonna go to uh, an x6 if uh, foxy kept the chain going and it lo looks like with how low low blarg got uh, he needed to make the chain that kind of big yeah if he had if he had put two more combos I saw him setting them up and just not quite getting to them um, I don't know if he noticed them late and his setup was just too far behind he couldn't catch up or if he's seeing them but just not quite getting his hands to them. Um, but he's just, he, he's wanting to add more combos to his chains here, especially uh, in the middle of the chain. He's, he's always been very good at not really starting his chain until he's got that first combo to go with it. You don't, he doesn't want to start himself behind on the combo count in a chain. Um, but the, you know, kind of at the X3, X4, X5 point, he's he's just not quite see, and then he proves me wrong, and on lunch he gets all the combos he was looking for. So maybe he's just starting to get get back in the groove of, of whatever it is he's trying to do, lining up the way he wants it. Well, that, uh, that uh, 13 seconds from uh, Lunchfish will uh, go a long way towards uh, getting back into the, that groove. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think, uh, Foxy Man's, uh, in an okay place right now. G getting, getting through, uh, 
Raphael and entering the Cave of Wickedness at around 510. That's not, that is definitely not uh, too bad by uh, his standards. Still love to see it. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing the time that he's putting up right now. Um, when we're considering all the things that kind of have become a hallmark of Foxy play that he's not really hitting on all cylinders right now. And, and I think that's that's one of the signs of, of a really, really good player when they're not they're not at their best and they're still putting up some of the crazy times. Um, uh, that's I mean, that's something that that I I, I keep an eye on because when I'm off, I'm off and I try to see these these players like Foxy who he might not be hitting it, and he's shaking his head here at a, you know, a, a 34 second hook bill, and uh, and still just putting up really solid times. I I don't think Foxy can be blamed for for that one necessarily. Maybe not not for uh, all of that uh, 34 seconds. I mean, hook bill did lay down an X4 chain, which is a bit rude, yeah. I must say. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like what we talked about before. If you give if you give the AI a little bit of room, then they build they can build up so much stop time that they snowball it on you, and they turn two, a two second mistake into a thirty second just run on you. And there's sometimes nothing you can do about it once you're past that point. Oh, goodness, another thirteen seconds for a hook land. That's just absurd. Oh, does karaoke have to kill here? Oh, not quite. Oh, no! When you're that close and they just get it on you, it's just, it's infuriating. Finally done it at uh, 40 seconds, and Foxy just threw down another 14. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, Foxy is channeling some uh, energy into... Uh, into into uh finishing off this run strong. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know if I I don't know if I want to uh see this see this fury firsthand. Oh, geez, another 15 second stage to finish. Oh man. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know if that what he said would be enough, but that's that. It it, it finally hit. Oh my! Oh me! Oh my! So even even with uh, even with a uh, even with a, a false start, Foxy still uh, clocking in a seven forty eight for hard mode. That's. I think the actual run was in the 720s. Uh, I I can't I can't even sometimes. Sometimes I just just can't even. But uh, Foxy hasn't been uh, hasn't been uh, speed running these games for very long, and uh, his PvP experience is uh, leading him to top five times in. Uh, in uh, this game overall, so uh, so uh, yeah, Foxy definitely showing what he's made of in this match. And that 748 sure. is going to be good enough to get a second star. All right. Yeah, seven 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 forty eight is a respectable time. Uh, I know, I know, Foxy for his standards, he's he was not happy with it. Uh, you could see the definite head shakes through most of the cave there, but uh, I mean that's that's a solid, solid time overall, especially in a non-reset uh, format. And and that was with a with starting on the wrong mode. It, lest we forget, he lost uh, seconds on the front end, uh, starting on normal and having to switch back. All right, all right, Carrie. Come on, let's let's uh, let's finish this one. Let's finish this one strong. Uh, all right, not a great channel. open against Hocus Pocus here. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh oh. Let's. 
still gotta try to channel. Setting up a little bit. There we go. Oh. Just channel the in inner uh, Diddy Kong Racing and say, go for it! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Alright, a little, little lag three chain. Nice, nice way to uh, go about that, but but uh, Kamek only had one pillar and uh, decided to uh, flatten that all the way down. Oh man, so much so much hocus pocus going on right now. Definitely hate to uh, see. Uh, yeah, These Car kinds Carrie's of picked runs play out. Oh, there we go. I was about to say Carrie was picking up the the amount of garbage dump there near the end, and it ended up not even needing it. So there we go, getting getting out of there even with the hocus pocus on 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 the troll meter right now. All right, let's see what happens with Bowser. Let's get a. Getting an opening set up here. Let's see. All right, next four. Not gonna be enough by itself, but let's see what else she's gonna put together here. Twenty-two second Bowser. Nice. All right. All right. All Wanted right, to finish right. strong. That qualifies for sure. There we go. And that is uh, karaoke clocking in at what was that time again? 11:47. Good for her Nintendo. for getting that one finished. Yeah, good finish for sure. Couple couple troll stages, but able to keep them under control and not have it Kareen too far of, out of control and uh, finished it up. Nintendo. So that is a uh, Foxy Man uh, taking a commanding two nothing lead, going into this third this third game. Hopefully, it is not the final game, but uh, it looks like. Uh, Looks like uh, Kiri just wants to have fun with this. Uh, the exact comment is, might as well do V hard. Might as well go ahead and... and My, might as well it make it red. <laughs> Let's go. Now, now uh, even though we're, even though we're not playing V hard in the in the it's a t we're, we're not doing these matches all in V hard in this group stage uh, V hard is still uh, quite important because uh, there are there are tiebreakers that will be used to uh, determine how uh, these uh, players get reseeded in the final bracket and one of the higher tiebreakers is average V hard time. So, so uh, Foxy will uh, still be uh, would still still uh, be uh, well off uh, trying to get a good V hard time here. Absolutely, and then and Foxy Foxy's a a favorite to end up in the in the bracket, but uh, that doesn't mean he he doesn't want a a good seed so that he doesn't end up on a. On an unfavorable matchup in the uh, in, in the reseeded bracket, um, and certainly even within this group, I mean, if if he were to be taken down by by Forky, uh, that would that would make uh, make tiebreakers start to to really be a, a factor here. So he wants to make sure he he puts up a good time here uh, and keeps himself in a good spot in case he needs him. All right, looks like we're about to. Yep, and away we go. All right, let me pause karaoke a little bit to uh, get her uh, resynced, and uh, let's uh, 
let's get this, uh, game three underway. Here we go. Foxy's still throwing on some pretty good oh, Foxy. Foxy with so many four combos in there, though. I mean, has he been playing too much PPL lately? I, it ends up with a 24 on Lakitu, but if even two of those fours, uh, of those four combos had been fives, I think he might have had a really quick kill on that. And hey, that's a 33 for karaoke. That's a, so there we go. Really not, uh, she's, she's really not uh, falling too far behind to start at all. And we've we've said it before. V Hard's probably the uh, the the most familiar, the uh, that comfortable blanket of a level mode for everybody uh, in this tournament. So uh, it's it's going to be a oh, Foxy almost almost killed himself with the stack raise there. I was worried for a second, caught it just in time. But uh, we've had a couple of those accidental self self tops uh with the, with the stack raise buffer uh, and he almost fell victim there um uh, but yeah i mean it, this this is probably uh, just like most of the rest of the players in this tournament this is probably karaoke's uh you know most familiar uh mode so uh let's let's do this let's have some fun with it and seems to be working out so far a 38 pretty solid time it's just, just, just solid, just solid times. You just, you just love to see, see these solid times on these levels. Oof. Just Foxy Man. Po just... Poochie getting the clear. Ugh. Foxy time wow. didn't time that one great. He he was working on putting a lot of four combos in, and if he had dropped just a little bit earlier, Poochie probably wouldn't have had the chance, but. Oh, Poochie untopping himself just for the briefest of seconds, just to burn a few more seconds on him, just to make it a thing. And karaoke's oh, finishing Poochie ahead of Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I am here for this. More of this. We need. We need to see more of this. Come on. Like, I, like, I, I, like. Some, some people may not want you to open the route, but, uh, but uh, I want, I want karaoke to have a good time. So. Uh, so I, I hope I hope uh, she uh, does well in this one. Oh, mm. ow! Okay, <laughs> uh, that's a oh, lot okay. of combo garbage there on on Wiggler on on Carrie's side, and Wiggler was down to two lines to work with, and still refused to raise stack at all because of how much garbage was on top. Uh, Carrie just oh, didn't quite man. have enough to take advantage of it right away, but my goodness, that opening was nearly enough to take take a crush kill on a 10-line needed <laughs> stage there. Still not quite enough. Still oops all combos, just <laughs> really just pressing all of that garbage on top there. Just needs a little bit more. <clears throat> This Wiggler is riding lower on the stack raise than I do, and that's saying something. <laughs> Those of you who uh, have have watched me play or watched me play in the uh, the PPL tournament in particular, uh, I had a lot of commentators screaming at me to raise my stack. So, uh, but sometimes it, I, I guess in this case it plays as an advantage to Wiggler, who just keeps having enough room to work. Oh man. All right, I think I think uh, I think uh, Foxy Man has uh, worked out uh, a few of the bugs. Now, uh, now, now he's uh, starting to uh, get into a bit of a groove. Now, uh, especially with that t twenty-one second. Uh, Absolutely. Blarg. That will help. Perry with the Wiggler who refused to be topped off. Finally, uh, finally getting through there. Boxy, not quite enough there on Lunchfish. Lunchfish riding pretty low. The follow. Oh, found the clear. Ah, oh, man. But not enough stop time to keep going afterwards. Okay, 26 seconds isn't too bad at all, especially with a late low clear there from Lunch. All right. 
Alright, so, uh... This lead for Foxy Man is, is extending at least past the, uh... Patent pending two stage lead that uh, we love so much. So it looks Pat like. A yeah, patent pending two stage lead. It's the lead at which you should feel safe, but if you're playing V hard, you never can. <laughs> well, uh, well, if uh, Foxy continues this. Uh, continues this play, uh, I expect the two stage lead to continue and. Uh, yeah. I expect uh, Foxy Man w will. Uh, yeah, Foxy Man's playing towards... well, but Raven's Raven's doing his darndest to make sure that it, he stays here a while. <laughs> oh boy, and there's a chain off of this garbage. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. and doing the chain up off the top again. How? I don't think I had ever seen that uh, until this tournament. Um, and here it is a second time. Oh my um, goodness. Raven. I, um Raven, I what are you doing? I can't even. <laughs> I don't I don't understand how that works. I actually don't. Raven. Oh, all right. Well. Well, uh, here we, here we go. Here we go uh, with uh the bird cheats. I knew it. Hook bill here. Not quite at the uh, time that uh, Foxy wants to see. Oh, hook bill just barely getting that garbage clear. And hook bill going <laughs> all the way to X. -X. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, but now he's down stacking. Uh... He's gone. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Meanwhile, Fish on carry, she had him topped off for a quick kill, and he just downstacked in just the wrong way, made probably his only available match for himself right on the box. Burned some time, but getting through there. Powering through. Foxy's, Foxy's wanting to get this thing done, and the AI just is not in the mood. Only an X4, but timed that. Oh, Ooh. if if Piranha hadn't had a match waiting, that would have been perfect timing for a, a little cheesy quick kill. And as oh, is still, on the follow, really, that's 19's really, really nice. Yeah, that's still <laughs> stupid quick. <laughs> so hard to get sub 20 in the in the cave. Sub and, 20 uh, with a with a clear. That's that's when you know you you sent your first wave really quick. When when they get a clear and you still finish them off sub 20. A little bit bonus setup there. Okay. I don't think that's what he was going for, but he'll take it. <laughs> X5 and he'll stop. That's a good call cutting that off, I think. X6 with a nine combo on the back. A nine yes. combo follower, yeah. Well, let's see how much Hocus Pocus is going here. This is going for a bit and oh, finally stopped to down stack. Oh, Foxy Lux out. The the stars, the yellow stars there. <laughs> Kamek lined up, but they weren't touching the frame they actually made the the connection. Oh. Still getting just wrecked uh, by just boy. bad luck. A little bit of that was shake time because of the size of the block that Foxy had sent. Um, but, you know, Kamek finally runs out of blocks. <laughs> and that's oh, what it took. Geez. That's what it took was Kamek just running themselves clean out of wor uh, ammo to work with. Oh, carry not in a real, not in a good place with this uh, hook bill at all. That's gonna be a bit of a struggle for her, but uh, should be uh, Foxy Man coasting to the Rio victory. Yeah, he cut that off a little bit early there on Bowser, hoping to get the early kill. I think good it's follows, flying, but not enough flying. there either. Yeah. <sighs> Quite. Got a, a 
getting a little bit more combos here in this uh, Bowser than he had been getting on some of the past stages. So he should be able to keep Bowser topped here for a bit. And he didn't even need all of that. Gets Bowser to finally go down. Oh, oh my. Yep, yep. Uh, Foxy Man uh, really showing showing his stuff here, even with uh, a bit of a subpar run for him. That was a 10-14 for yeah. Foxy Man, but uh, it, it uh, is going to be enough here. Yeah, no reset run like this you're typically looking for sub-10. Foxy, of course, has the speed to knock out much faster than that. You know, typically he would be happy wanting to be sub-9, but, uh, you know, getting the job done and then survive in advance. Sometimes that's all you can hope for. Let's, let's not look now, but uh, there's still there's still an opportunity for... for Kerry to... Uh, to... Uh, possibly get a really good time for her standards that that piranha plant is is conch killed conch so, killed uh, the piranha crush yeah <laughs> so yeah there, there's there's still so there's still some room here to uh there's still some room for carrie to get the best time she's ever gotten so let's 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 uh cross our fingers and toes and she gets what, what she wants out of this run. Okay, it's four chain. Combo, another combo, and one line short. <clears throat> Missed it by that much. Sometimes, though, it do be like that. Still, still got a chance here. Let's see. not a lot able to be built here. Uh, trying to get that, that drop switch and just doesn't quite have the right timing on that to, to drop that, that piece in. But working up another response chain here. Let's see. Hmm. Can't make us hocus pocusing, but we might... There we go. Kamek goes down. We probably don't have enough time here to. Well, I don't know. Would, Bowser, Bowser could take sub Bowser... twenty seconds, I would think. Yeah, it, it'd be real tight. But this is this is still what this this would still be one of Carrie's better V hard runs she's ever had. So. Uh, yeah, still... absolutely. I, her her. Her her PB over there, thirteen twenty four. She's probably not going to be able to top that, but really putting up a close time to that that PB. When you're when you're this close, you're 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 definitely flying. Uh, she's playing really well, lining up another six here, uh, trying to see. Excuse me, excuse me, Bowser. <laughs> excuse me. X twelve, X thirteen, X. Mystery the chain. Mystery oh my chain. goodness! What? Bowser mystery chainer. That's not what? right. That is just not right. Crush kill. <laughs> oh! And <laughs> Carrie says you're gonna mystery chain me. I'm just gonna crush kill you and fill <laughs> the entire screen. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that had no business. Oh come on! Being there, Bowser does not mystery chain except right now right here oh, but carry no. <laughs> carry punishing punishing bowser for that <laughs> good on carry oh, for punishing my. that Goodness oh you... gracious that oh. Jesus, crackers my dude that that just does not happen very often that's just, just bowser not deserved to, to be punished for that <laughs> oh my goodness Carry uh, on 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 a, on a very good just off of PV pace, and Bowser says, "Nah, I'm just gonna spend forever mystery chaining." And Carrie says, "No, nah, okay, fine, but you're gonna go down immediately afterwards." Love it. Uh, unbelievable. That's un unbelievable, Bowser. What 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 a way to to go out. What a way to go out, indeed. But. Uh, with a 1349, oh that is unfortunately not going to be enough 
for karaoke. Foxy Man now gets the third star and the win. So now Foxy Man's Absolutely. in a really good position to uh, Ab advance. Absolutely love that win banner. Love that win banner. I think Foxy's hoping to see a lot of that win banner here. Uh, but he's uh, he's got, an got another match tonight. So... This is, we, we've got two two more matches coming at you tonight here. Everyone joining us live on Twitch. Uh, those joining on, uh, uh, watching us on YouTube, uh, check it out. There's a couple more matches here and plenty more on the playlist for this whole tournament. Um, so definitely, definitely a lot more puzzle action. And uh, hopefully we won't see Bowser mystery chaining anybody else. But you never know. You never know. Bowser can do what Bowser wants, apparently. Wow. Yeah, that, that that's something I haven't seen in a long time. That that is that is rare, that is tremendous, and yeah, Bowser fully got what he deserved there, so good good on karaoke for uh, giving giving Bowser what was coming to him for that. Alright. It's not the transition I wanted, but uh, we'll take it. Let's take a look at uh, where group B is at now. Uh, Foxy Man getting that uh, 3-0 match victory, moving on to a record of 2-0, and, oh, and looking to uh, play his last match later this evening against BB Forky. And uh, you have to think, you have to think at 0-2, uh, there's no way for Carrie to uh, come back in this tournament, but uh, she definitely showed us some good things while uh, she was here so uh good on her for that yeah it's still got one more match definitely going to be uh some fun to, to come but yeah i think i think carrie and foxy are both locked in uh either uh, out or in respectively but it's just a matter of where the chips are going to fall and actually mathematically foxy might not be locked completely in yet so we'll see what his his other match later tonight but this group be starting to shape up uh, here as we go, and, and as most of these groups are shaping up as we uh, work our way through this uh, this uh, round robin group stages. Ah, uh, yes, 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 indeed. Uh, still, uh, the story of Group B still needs to be told just a little bit longer, and uh, we'll be able to uh, tell you more of that story later in this broadcast. But, but uh, TA, uh, good stuff. Good stuff today. Thank you very much for uh, joining us on the commentator's desk. Happy to be here. I enjoyed all of it, including the crazy and the the awesome that is this game that we all love. And uh, thank you all for for uh, watching, especially those of you on YouTube. You like what you saw? Please give us a like and a subscribe just to let us know that we're uh, doing doing good here. Make sure you uh, follow us on Twitch here at Puzzle General. Follow us on Twitter. Get all those updates on when those jo matches are happening because it's gonna it's gonna be uh, fast and furious fr from uh, from uh, close to this point forward. We're we're getting really close to that point where it's gonna get super insane. Yep. And join us, join us on the uh, on the Discord as well. If you're if you're looking to 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 join up, to learn how to play, to you know be in future tournaments, uh, we'll, we've got more coming too. So for Tetris Attacker and everyone else at Puzzle General, this has been Cards of the Heart, and until next time, everyone, thanks for watching. Happy puzzling, y'all. <laughs>